In this video, we are going to practice some of the things you may see on a carpenter apprenticeship math pretest or an aptitude test. Um, and so let's take a look at where we left off. So we had done some subtraction by hand, and in this video, um, we are going to continue. Um, in the instructions for this particular pretest, and there's lots of them out there, it says no calculators for 1 through 13. So we are going to do some of these by hand. So let's take a look at this one. It says to multiply 43 by 7. So let me remind you of the rules. You know, sometimes we haven't done these for quite some time, um, and so this is going to help. So uh, remember, to uh, multiply um, whole numbers like this, usually you put the longer one on top, doesn't matter, but it is helpful for the notation. You're going to take and we're going to multiply 7 times 3. Now we only put down the first digit. The other digit we put up above because we're going to carry that. And then we do four, uh, 7 times 4, which is 28 plus 2, which is 30. So we add those that result, 28, with the 2 we carried, and we get 30. So the answer is 301. Now we have a longer one, a two-digit number, so let's put the larger number on top, the smaller number on the bottom. Let me remind you how to do this one. So we're first going to use the six, and we're going to use the same exact te technique we did for number five. We're going to multiply, multiply. We'll carry any digit that's more than one. So six times seven is 48, so we're going to put down the eight, carry up the four. And then three times six is 18 plus four, is 22. So we're going to put down a 2 and carry a 2. And then 6 times 1 is 6, but we have that 2 there. Don't forget to add that on. So 6 plus 2 is 8. And then finally, 6 times 1 is 6. Now, we are moving on to our digit of 5. It is one place over, so we're in a base 10 number system. So we put a little 0 there to hold our place because technically we're multiplying by 50. So by putting that zero there, we can just use a five for the rest of the time. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up my problem a little bit. I'm gonna get this carrying stuff out of the way, and I'm gonna start again. And this time I'm multiplying by five. Five times seven is 35. Put down the five, carry the three. Five times three is 15, plus three is eight. Put down the eight, carry the one. Five times one is five, plus one is six. And then five times one is five. And then we're just going to add these together. Being mindful, just go down the columns and add. If we have to carry anything over, we will. Eight plus zero is eight. Two plus five is seven. Eight and eight add up together to give you 16. Carry the one. Six and six is 12 plus one is 13. So we're going to carry, the th uh, carry down the three, put up a one, and then one plus five is six. And if you want to put your little comma in there, the answer is 63,678. Now, we're going to continue this very process, but in number 7, we have some decimals. So um, this is going to be our last one in this video. So we're going to put the longer number on top. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost wrote that wrong. <laughs> and then we're going to put the shorter number. We do not have to line up decimals in multiplication. We're going to ignore that they even exist until our final step. Okay, so ignore that they're there. We're going to do the exact same thing we did up here. Okay, so let's go, go for it. First, we're going to use the 2. We're going to multiply it. 2 times 7 is 14. Put down the 4, carry the 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is um, 1. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. We're done with the 2. Now we're moving on to the 8. But it's in the second spot, so we need a 0. And then we start. 8 times 7 is um, 56. We're going to put down the 6. Uh, let's erase this one here. We're going to carry a 5. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 1 is 8. Okay. Now our next digit is a zero, um, but it was two digits over, okay? And um, so 
you can just put zeros across the board if you want, uh, or you can say I'm on to my third number, so I can put a third zero and put start with my one. So it's going to go seven, zero, zero, one, and one. Okay, now we're going to uh, begin our addition. So four plus zero plus zero is four. 1 plus 6 plus 0 is 7. 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 plus 7 is 9. 2 plus 8 plus 0 is 10. We're going to put down the 0 and carry a 1. 8 plus 1 plus 0 is 9. And then a 1. And then a 1. And then we are going to put R decimal place and now here is where it's different so let's talk about that so what you have to do is you have to um, count how many things in both pieces do you have after the decimal po point I have one two three four things after the decimal point okay so to account for that we're gonna start at this number here this is kinda where our decimal is if we don't see it and we're gonna move it over one two, three, four, and that's where it's going to go. So our decimal place goes right here. Okay, so let's talk about that again. You multiply like normal. Whatever's after the decimal places, there are four digits after, so go in four places, and that's our answer. So there you go. I hope this helped you remember some of those rules, and in our next video, we'll talk about division. Okay, I hope that helped, and if you like that, please like this, subscribe, um, comment if you need more help. Okay, thanks.